action is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it's gonna be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I wanna see how this plays out. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with oh. that punch. And they are exchanging leather early. Joy gets caught with that punch. And he landed the right hand there. Joy gets touched by that kick there. Misses with that punch. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Just misses there with the left. Starting to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Lands the right hand. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you gotta intelligently defend or the referee's gonna stop. You it. gotta defend, but you should see him now starting the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes. It's starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Close guard. He loaded up the right hand too. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Left hand is true. That will absolutely work. He throws it like a piston back and forth. He's landing that beautiful left hand. Joy gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee of the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. you got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step. It's getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Throwing that jab now again, the fire of eights. Oh, lands an uppercut to the head now, DC. Usually when you're the shorter fighter, you can land those types of shots. Look back to Mike Tyson in his prime. He landed those over and over again to put guys to sleep. Swing and a big miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Anderson gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Right on the button. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Beautiful body kick. 15 seconds to go. That was a nice combination there. 
Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Five minutes in the books. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Second round here. Joy gets caught with that punch. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Anderson's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. He's throwing every part of himself. Just out of range with that right hand. Choi's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Now the hammer fist here by Anderson. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off his back, DC. Close guard. And they both stand up. Nice shot to the body. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. All right, so he's landing. Ooh. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Oh, nice jab. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, man, look at that picture. Perfect. Got to the leg. Got to his position, got another beautiful take. -off. Anderson going to work from guard here. Nice combination of strikes there. Very efficient, very effective. Under three minutes now to go in round two. Back to the jab now, no good. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Just misses with the straight right. And as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing Good a great job. Nice single leg injury. Rotates ahead outside to a high punch. Big slam takedown. That was beautiful. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Volume strikes continue to rain down. His opponent pretty helpless there on the ground. His opponent is helpless. He's been hurt. He's been battered. He's been beat. And now this guy's trying to find the right time to land the strike that is the fight. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you got to be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Oh, strong punch there by Anderson. There's no tell on that leg kick. And there comes the separation now. So there it is, longer reach, paying dividends as he counters with a punch. Body attack, and it's blocked. Oh, he lands another shot.
strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Choi's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Double jab there by Anderson. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Ooh! Oh, straight right! Now goes in and secures the takedown! All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Nice loop and punch. Now on a quick entry. Great single entry. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Liver kick. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Just over three minutes now to go. Single collar tie now. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you... Wow, actually got the teeth now. Anderson's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Nice hammer fist. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. That shot blocked by Anderson. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do. So try to take him down. There you go. Oh, massive slam. That'll change the complexion of this one. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. 
All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Choi gets caught with that punch. Now connects with the right. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish his fight. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh, big left. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pull it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Big kick land. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. Nice punch there. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Got the single collar tie. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Joy gets hit with the overhand there. Single collar tie now. Wow! What a fight so far! All right, that's the end of the round. He's got a cut on his cheek from that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not going to trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fight. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Shot a double leg. Oh, crowd really enjoyed that one. What goes up must come down. Man, I mean, what would what would that do to me? I'd be out like half a year, bro. You'd be done, John. You would not be calling fights. You would not be working anymore. Your back would be out. But the, people get mad when somebody wrestles too much, but they always enjoy slams like that. The next with a right. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, it's a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Big kick. Punches block. I mean, he's cutting down the size with this beautiful leg kick. Just over three minutes to go. Back and forth we go. Sound defensively here as he stays upright. Double leg takedown, no good. Oh, big knee. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left hook there. Right under the elbow, the body just lands. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Anderson's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. 
All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Anderson's got his back again. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. How good is that right hand? Close guard. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get-ups have been there for him all night. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Over and over. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, nice job by him there to move in the half guard. Not much resistance from the bottom fight. He's just too good in this position. Look for ground and bottom feeling. All right, close guard now. You got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Anderson, ground and pound from half guard. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Choi gets back up again. Whoa! Oh! After the huge knockout turn.